Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Quick video today because we're going to be taking a look at some case badges from Geek and Spiel. Now a lot of you are probably going, well, yeah, case badges from Geek and Spiel, obviously. But here's the thing. I've been looking for case badges for a long time now and for whatever reason, these things had just managed to pass me by. You know, I'd completely missed them. So I figured that if I'd managed to completely miss them, then maybe some other people have too. So we're going to take a look at them, see what they're like and kind of help spread awareness that stuff like this exists, uh, you know, for the retro community. Now, just to be clear, this isn't a paid review or I haven't been given these or anything like that. All these uh, case badges I've bought completely with my own money. So as you can see, gone for quite a few different uh, case badges. And the reason for that is that uh, these are made over in the US and I'm here in the UK. Now, sometimes if you order something in the US and get it shipped to the UK, shipping can be quite expensive. So I often figure get a reasonable amount if, you know, if it's something that I need and then at least you're only paying for the shipping once. However, with these things being small and light and the fact that they could be sent, uh, you know, in this envelope as a letter, it meant that shipping was really, really reasonable because you're effectively sending just a letter rather than a package. Also, this, um, this envelope that they came in, it's got put in my post box. Uh, it's an outside post box. It's autumn in the UK, so naturally it was raining and my post box is perhaps not quite as weatherproof as it once was. So naturally, this thing got soaking wet, as you can see. But the stickers inside, or you know, the case badges, they were in this little plastic bag, little waterproof bag, so it meant there was no water damage uh, or any or anything like that on any of these. They all stayed nice and dry. And besides being in the bag, they were kind of wrapped in a protective paper too. So yeah, big thumbs up uh, for the packaging and the shipping on these. That's uh, that's really well done. So as you can see, I've gone for quite a selection here. There's sort of three main types that I've gone for. We've got, for example, on these, these are the kind of uh, flat uh, badges, you know, your, your typical stick straight onto a, a, a flat surface on, on, on the front of a case. So I've got quite a few of these. We've got the AMD Athlon there, this GeForce one and so on and so forth. There's then there's the kind of flat metallic ones here, like we see on a lot of these um, Microsoft designed for Windows badges or, for example, this AMD K6 badge with that, that sort of nice metallic finish that was really popular um, back then. And then the third type, for example, on this Athlon badge, you might just be able to see it there. These are the kind of domed style of badges where you know, they're quite thick and where you had that little sort of square recess on the front of the case are typically where you'd uh, find something like these domed badges. In terms of cost, I mean, typically these are around the sort of $3 mark each. Some are a little bit less than that, some are a little bit more, depends exactly on what you're getting. But uh, yeah, work on that. And then obviously, if like me, you've then got to convert that to your own currency, that might put it uh, up or down a bit more, depending on, uh, depending on how your currency currently is. Not good if you're currently in the UK like me. So just picking out a couple in detail, I mean, this PowerVR one is a favourite of mine. The uh, the original PowerVR sort of logo, this blue and yellow logo, it's such a sort of classic logo, if you like, for me. And finding these sorts of badges with this logo on, I found it so difficult. It's really nice to find something like this and pick it up. And just having a close look, the edges on these badges, they're all really nicely cut. There's no sort of raggy edges on them. And I've had a close up look at these. There's no bleeding between the colors or anything like that. You know, the printing's nice and clear. And it's it's good quality images that have been used for them. You know, it's not like you look at this and you can see it's kind of blocky or low quality image. No, it's, it's good quality stuff and it's been reproduced really well. So yeah, I'm re, re oops, getting back here you. I'm really happy with these, they're, uh, they're spot on. In this uh, this 3D FX badge, for example, like this is uh, this is one of the domed ones. That for me is the proper 3D FX logo. You know the early one that you saw with the Voodoo's and the Voodoo Twos. 
nowadays, every time you look for the 3DFX logo, sort of, it feels like 99 times out of 100. It's the modern sort of flat one, you know, the white, uh, sorry, the orange 3DFX logo with that kind of white swoosh on it. Or is it the other colours the other way around? Doesn't matter. Nah, don't like that logo. That's a proper 3DFX logo. Remember, starting up a glider game and seeing that thing come on your screen and spin around. So again, much harder to find than the later 3DFX logo, so absolutely spot on. And again, even on these dome badges, the, uh, the reproduction on them and the sort of image quality, just as good. Likewise on these metallic badges, I don't know if this sort of metallic surface is any harder to print on, but you can't tell any difference. Print quality is just as nice and as I say, the edges are just as neat, so yeah. Really, really happy with the quality of these. In fact, tell you what, let's have a look at a couple of these uh, compared to some sort of real, um, re real world sort of original, shall we say, equivalents. So here we are with the IBM NetVista, and on here we've got the original design for Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional Windows ME badge. As you can see over time, it's a little bit faded, the uh, the colours aren't so nice anymore, the sort of metallic sheen starting to go a bit. So I don't have a recreation of that exact badge, but I do have the design for Microsoft Windows ME badge, and sort of straight away you can see that the metallic finish on this one, it's just a lot brighter, it's a lot newer generally. And the colours on this, I hope it's sort of coming through on the camera, these metallic surfaces are a little bit tricky to film, but the colours are just generally a little bit more vibrant, they're a bit brighter again, just because this is new and this thing's, I don't know, 20 years old now, something like that. So, yeah, but it, 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 in terms of the actual sort of badges, the, you know, the layout, font, size, everything like that, they, that looks absolutely spot on to me. You, you wouldn't stick that on there and go, well, that's not right, or there's, you know, something wrong with that. So, yeah. Really, really nice job compared to the originals. So here we are with the Windows 98 PC. This was the one we did on the channel about uh, nine months back, something like that now. Anyway, qu quite a while. And these are a couple of sort of recreation case badges that I managed to find here in the UK. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the quality of these badges per se. They're just not the right badges. But they were the closest I could find at the time. I mean... Especially that sort of AMD one, the, uh, the quality of the printing on that's not brilliant and it's just not quite right for the AMD logo. Uh, sorry, I can't get any closer anyway. This is as close as my tripod will let me get and I don't want to zoom in. You'll just see bigger pixels. But anyway, that's the one that I'm going to swap for the uh, AMD K63 badge on there. And just straight away, you can see that this one is just... A lot nicer quality and it's the right badge for the machine so that's going to look so much better on there than that one is and likewise for the matrox badge it's not so bad that one the quality on that one's a little bit better than that one but again it's just the matrox logo it's it's or the matrox kind of m and and, and the word it's not the full logo whereas the sort of powered by matrox that was the actual logo and that's what this badge gives us too so Gonna swap that one on there and just make the look of this PC a lot better, I think. So there we go, the Geek and Spiel case badges. Um, for me, they're good value for money. The shipping was nice and fast and they were well protected. And for me, they look every bit as good as an original case badge. The quality of these is absolutely spot on. If you want to check them out, and there is a way wider selection than what I've got here. I mean, th these are just the kind of badges that I want, but there's, you know, CPUs, graphics cards, sound cards, manufacturers, there's all sorts. I'll put a link uh, down uh, in the description below, but I'm sure you can all type Geek and Spiel into Google. But that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick look at these. If you have usual thing, give us a thumbs up or a comment down below. But for now, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.